Good morning everyone, and welcome back to another video. It's been a while since my last upload, and I don't have a reason for that, other than that I didn't want to film anything. So, here I am. Today I'll be updating you on my National Novel Writing Month progress so far, and we'll talk a little bit about No Shave November, and just other stuff. But before we get into any of that, let's roll that intro. I want you to see. Yeah, I still haven't gotten around to filming a new one. It, at some point, we'll work on that. So sorry for my absence. As I said before, there's not really an excuse. I just didn't feel like making any videos. I kind of hit a hard place where I didn't want to do YouTube anymore. Like, it was just kind of tugging at me. Not so much this channel, but my main channel that has 360 subscribers and I've been working on for three years. Um, with that channel, it's just like, no matter what I do, my overall views are up, but on my individual videos, every time I upload, it seems like less people are watching, despite constantly getting subscribers. So, that's a little discouraged there, and I've considered just completely quitting YouTube. I haven't uploaded on that channel since October, because I was just kind of like, what's the point? But anyway, I decided to start uploading to this channel again, uh, because I'm getting very close to finishing NaNoWriMo. Before I get into the specifics of National Novel Writing Month, and my updates so far, we're going to talk very briefly about No Shave November. It is day 15, and... My beard is coming in, it's turning red, as it always does. I did cheat, and I shaved my neck, it's starting to grow back a little, but it was down to here, and I couldn't do that, so I shaved it off. But we're getting there. Don't know if I'll keep it after November like I usually do. I usually keep it throughout the entire winter. Not feeling like it this time. Alright, and on to National Novel Writing Month. So I finished day 14 with 38,951 words, just shy of 39,000 words. It is the 15th today. It is my ambitious goal to hit 50,000 words on the 18th by midnight, well, 11.59 on the 18th. Don't know if I can do that, but I'm going to try. If not, I will most likely finish on the 19th. My novel will not be done when I reach 50,000 words. There is a lot more to go, and there's still the whole series and all that, so I will keep writing throughout November even after I hit 50,000 because I really need to finish this book. So that is my NaNoWriMo progress. Um, I'm on chapter 11, and this is where I'm really starting to struggle because the beginning is being drawn out so much especially compared to some of my earlier drafts, and it's not quite getting to the action. Not to say that it's just nothing going on, like it's, it's I'm not just writing about the normal world and we're taking forever to get to the inciting incident because we're just taking forever. There is a ton of build-up, there's a ton of scheming. Some scenes are very exciting, but I will probably need to cut a lot of it to push the inciting incident closer to the beginning. Or just restructure the entire beginning. I mean, that's still a possibility. So I'm really struggling with that. Just how far in we are. And not much of the plot has kicked off. You know what the plot's going to be already. Because like I said, there's been a ton of scheming and foreshadowing and hints have been thrown everywhere. And it is exciting for the most part. But it's just... Probably doesn't work very well in the modern day. I've read books that are set up like this before, and I actually enjoyed them more than books that have the exciting incident early on, but I'm not sure that's how the industry works nowadays. I'm pretty sure it doesn't work that way anymore. And most of these books came out in the 80s, <laughs> or the 70s, so different times call for different methods, but that's how it's ending up, and I'll need to really think about that once I finish. I probably won't think about changing stuff until I finish the entire draft, beginning to end. 
because that will really tell me what I need to do. Other than that, it's been going okay. Um, scenes aren't working out entirely like I want, which is to be expected. Um, because in NaNoWriMo, you're just kind of hitting the keys as fast as you can in writing. Um, not to say it's a terrible draft, it's just not how I would want it. Uh, looking at my previous drafts, there are a few things I am fixing. There are scenes that I haven't really had time to fix because it would really hinder my word count, but I've made mental notes of some scenes to work on over the next few months and make better because they're kind of awkward. Um, but I've been catching in my earlier drafts a lot of passive voice, and I'm sure I'm not catching all of it, especially not the first part when I started. It's really been the last few days that I've been noticing it. So either the first part didn't have as much passive voice, and as I got further into my other draft, I started adding more, <laughs> um, or I just wasn't paying attention. But I have been thinking about that as I'm writing. I know that I have knowingly written some passive voice, even in this current draft. I have knowingly done that, and I've made a mental note to come back to it later, but for the most part, I am noticing it and fixing it when it appears. So that's a good thing. That is a good step forward, even if I'm not getting all of it. It'll be much less than there was in the last draft. To be honest, I'm kind of getting tired of this novel in a way. I've been working on it for years, and I know last year I got tired of it and completely switched what novel I was working on halfway through NaNo, which is not recommended. Um, and I just moved to a completely different series, but I don't know. Sometimes I'm just not feeling it. Like, I know it's an interesting plot, and when I explain it to people, people are really excited about it, and they want to read it. So I know it's not awful, but sometimes I just feel like it's not working out the way I want it to even after all these years, and that maybe I should just give up on it. But I did have some ideas that could remedy that. I'm thinking after I finish this draft, I may take a break from it. Like, I'll have people read it, and I'll work on editing it, but I don't think I'd move on to, like, the next book in the series. I had the idea of just writing a standalone novel set in the same world that I built, the same fantasy world that I've created. Uh, just completely unrelated to what's going on in my main series, but still having it in that same world, so I'm still world building and fleshing out that world I created, which will help my main series that I'm writing. Just doing something like that for fun, because I've never actually written a novel, or tried to write a novel, that is a standalone. Everything that I've started writing ever, I've been like, oh, this could be a good series. And it just kind of explodes from there, and I never finish. So, it would be cool to write a standalone. So, sorry about rambling on in this video. I really didn't know what I was making, so I just rambled. I didn't know what I was going to talk about. I just felt like I needed to make a video because it had been a while, and because I am getting so close to the 50,000 words, it was just very important. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to try to finish by the 18th which is going to be very hard, but we're going to try it. Thank you so much for watching today's video. If you enjoyed it, be sure to give it a like and subscribe to my channel if you aren't subscribed already. And if you are subscribed, be sure to hit the bell icon so that you can be notified every time that I upload a new video. You know, I just want to thank all of you for all of your support. You've been so kind to me and so welcoming to me in this AuthorTube community, and I am excited to keep making videos after NaNoWriMo. Alright, I'm Chase Sharaba. Until next time. Thank you.